What's up, flamethrowers? It's me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to another installment of Date, Smash, or Pass. You guys know the game. We're me and my brother Sonic look at girls. We decide whether or not we will want to date, smash, or pass. But sadly, I do not have my brother here with me today. Um, I'm here by myself, but it's okay. So guys, for today, we are going to be looking at characters from everybody's favorite horror game, Five Nights at Freddy's. You know, since we are doing the whole Five Nights at Freddy's thing, I might as well just, you know, do this. <laughs> Anyway, so for today, guys, we are going to be looking at all kinds of different Five Nights at Freddy's female characters. And before you guys ask, yes, I do also mean, uh, you know, characters from fan games, characters that you guys made up, and lots of other stuff. So, guys, without further ado, let's begin. All right, so the first one we have is, okay, so first up we have is Clara Afton. Now, for those of you guys who don't know who she is, Clara Afton, she is the she is the spirit of William Afton, aka um, you know, glitch trap or or you know, spring trap, glitch trap, whatever she is. That's the spirit of his ex-wife, and believe it or not, she has inherited the spirit of Ballora, which means her spirit is making Ballora come to life and all that other junk. So, yeah, basically she's Ballora in a way. But anyway, uh, Clara Afton, uh, she's basically William Afton's ex-wife. So, um, I'm gonna have to say smash. Yeah, I would definitely smash or date. Who knows? I mean, hey, if you think about it, it's her ex-husband. It's her ex. I mean, it's his ex. So, yeah, not much he can do. But anyway, yeah, smash and date. Okay, moving on. Oh, Lord. Okay. We got something interesting. Now, for those of you guys who don't know who this is, this, my friends, is the one, the only, Heartsick Circus Baby. Or Heartsick Baby. She's a Valentine's Day animatronic from that, uh, from that, um, mobile game. I forgot what it was called, the mobile game. It's a, yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, there's a Five Nights at Freddy's mobile game. Uh, yeah, and she is in it along with lots of other mixed up uh characters in five nights at freddy's it's actually pretty cool but anyway uh yeah she's pretty much a yandere version of circus baby who makes you fall in love with her with a shot of her arrows um i'm gonna have to say pass because guys i really don't like yandere's i really don't yeah i really don't like yandere so yeah now that's just horrible okay so anyway let's keep on going because guys the more we talk about Yandere's, the more I'm going to get creeped out. Anyway, moving on. Okay, next up we have is Lobid from uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. I think that's what it was called, Help Wanted. I forgot which one it was. I forgot which one it was, guys. Which Five Nights at Freddy's is Lobid in? I forgot. But anyway, Lobid. Um, yeah, she looks nice. She looks cute. She almost looks like uh, Foxy. She almost looks like Funtime Foxy if, she, if he had like a hook hand and was a girl and all the other junk and not pink but anyway i'm not gonna lie she does look really cute um so yeah i think i would definitely smash i would definitely smash and date lobid i mean she looks cool she looks nice and cute so yeah i'm smashing lobid anyway moving on okay next up we have is glamrock mangle this is a uh, fan character. A lot of people really want to see a lot of the uh, classic Five Nights at Freddy's characters in, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, Security Breached. A lot of people really want to see, you know, uh, Glamrock Bonnie, Glamrock Foxy, and lots of other characters from way back in other games. Lots of people really want to see uh, those characters in Security Breach because, hey... Think about it like this. Lots of people, lots of those animatronics deserve to be back. I mean, like Mangle, she definitely deserved to be back. She, bless not to mention, she was all messed up and stuff. But here, but in this version, she's fixed. But in this version, she's a glam rock. So, yeah, I think I would definitely smash glam rock Mangle. Who wouldn't smash that? I mean, look at her. Look how thick she is. Plus, she kind of looks a little bit like Roxanne, if you like... 
Guys, if you like put her and Roxanne next to each other, they kind of almost look the same. Except uh, Glamrock Mangle is pink and white, while um, Roxanne is purple and grayish. So, yeah, it's definitely something. Anyway, moving on. Okay, next up we have is regular Mangle. Now, she's all fixed up, because like I said before, she was all uh, banged up and taken apart. So, yeah, I'm gonna have... To, so, um, no one really knows what the heck her personality is, because she's like always um, in storage or whatever it is, in repair. Um, I honestly don't know what she is like... I honestly don't know what the heck she's like. I really don't know what the heck, uh, you know, glam rock uh, mangles like. I don't know, or I don't know what the heck normal mangles like. I don't know what the heck she's like. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, she does look cute. I guess she kind of looks a little bit like Funtime Foxy. Guys, I'm just gonna flat out say this: Does Funtime Foxy and Mangle are related or something? I mean, because if you think about it, they do kind of look the same. If you think about it, they do kind of look the same. But anyway, yeah, as for Mangle, fixed Mangle, um, I think I would definitely have to say date. I would definitely date her. Yeah, I would date her. <laughs> I won't be surprised if her and Funtime Foxy have to actually get together. That would be weird, because if you think about it, <laughs> if you think about it, it would be kind of funny, because they both kind of look the same. Anyway, moving on. Next up is Ballora, everybody's favorite ballerina from uh, Sister Location. Oh boy, okay. Now, Ballora, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I actually have uh, met Ballora before. I actually met Ballora. She's actually a really, really nice person. She's pretty much the mom of Sister Location. Hence, she is possessed by the uh, ex-wife of William Afton, who just so happens to be a mom. Um, so, yeah, I think I would definitely smash and date Ballora. I mean, she is cute and adorable. She's really beautiful and very, very graceful when it comes to ballet. I mean, hence her name, Ballora. I mean, hello, think about it. Ballora, ballet, you get it? But anyway, yeah, I would definitely date and smash Ballora. She's really cute and adorable. Anyway, moving on. Okay, next up is, next up is, oh god, Vanny. That psycho bitch. Okay, so next up we have is Vanny. Oh lord. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna flat out say this. Vanny, she pretty much was prey on her own. Like, she let Glitchtrap take control of her. She let Glitchtrap take control of her. That was just on her. That was on her. She just, she was like, like the perfect victim. Or something. She was like the perfect victim. But anyway, not gonna lie, Vanny, she is good looking. She's thick and she is cute. I guess I don't know when she's not on a murderous spree. Um, yeah, I think I would definitely smash Vanny, bunny suit and all. I mean, don't get me wrong, she does look kind of cute. She looks like a demented bunny, but yeah, uh, yeah, smash Valor. Yep, smash, definitely smash. Um, Vanny, it's definitely something. Okay. Okay, next that we have is Vanny without her bunny suit, otherwise known as security guard Vanessa. <laughs> or as others like to just call her Vanessa. Okay, so let me see. Um, I'm not gonna lie, Vanessa, she is definitely really something. Uh, she is uh, cute looking, I guess. I mean, she is just trying to do her job when it comes to the when being a security guard. She's just trying to do her job you know, trying to make sure that no one is staying after dark in the pizza plex. Yet, Gregory, he did kind of give her a hard time, always getting caught by her and stuff. It's just kind of crazy. Anyway, uh, but overall, I would definitely uh, smash and date Vanessa. Because if you think about it, she does deserve a good man in her life because she uh, <laughs> just goes through a very, very stressful job being a security guard for children and stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, she just goes through a whole bunch of stuff during the daytime, and she can definitely need to relax and stuff. She needs to relax, so, yeah, I think I would definitely smash Vanessa and date her. I would, definitely. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Oh, okay, next up we have is Earth. Okay, for those of you guys who don't know who Earth is, Earth is a fan-made 
uh, animatronic. She is a fan-made animatronic uh, for the daycare in the Pizzaplex. She is supposed to help out, you know, sun drop and moon drop. Supposed to help out sun and moon uh, in the daycare with the kids. And not gonna lie, she's very, very nice. She's very nice. She's sweet. She's kind. And heck, her name is Earth for crying out loud. So of course she's gonna be really nice and sweet. So yeah, I would definitely smash and date Earth. She's so gentle and cute. Oh my gosh, look at her. Her hair is clouds. Her headband is a rainbow. Plus, not to mention, her body paint is brown, blue, and green. The color of the colors of the Earth. I mean, if that's not if that's not pretty and cute, I don't know what the heck is. Anyway, yeah, I would definitely date and smash. All right, let's keep her going. Okay, next up we have is Mary, or otherwise known as Marionette, from the uh, fan game from the fan porn game, otherwise known as Fat Night at Franny's, or Franny Fazbear Fazbear's. Uh, nightclub whichever one you guys call it uh but anyway um um she is really cute looking she's pretty much just the gender bad version of the puppet to tell you the truth guys i have no idea what gender the puppet is i don't know what the puppet is like is it a guy is it a girl i don't know because a lot of people seem to think that the puppet's a girl a lot of people seem to think that the puppet's a guy and i really don't know what the heck the puppet is i don't know what the heck it is i really don't know it's just really really mysterious just a mysterious looking animatronic. I mean, we can tell what all the other animatronics are. Like, if you look at Freddy, you can tell it's a bear. If you look at Bonnie, you can tell it's a bunny. And if you look at Foxy, you can tell it's a fox, I guess. <laughs> anyway, um... Anyway, um, no. Um, I honestly don't know what the heck the puppet is. I don't know what it is. But, anyway, back to this one. Um, I would definitely say smash and date. I would definitely say smash and date. I mean, come on. Look at them chichis. Look at them hips. Look at that face. I mean, come on, guys. Who wouldn't want to wake up to a face like this? I mean, sure, it might scare the crap out of you for a few minutes, but it's really, she is really, really cute. And I have actually met her. She's really, really nice. She's nice when you think about it. She is really, really nice and cute and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, let's continue on. All right. Next up we have is everybody's favorite wolf from Security Breach. We have Roxanne Wolf. Pretty much everybody's favorite waifu when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. I mean, if you think about it, guys, she pretty much is the most popular female out of every single character in Five Nights at Freddy's. Her and Toy Chica, I'm not gonna lie, her and Toy Chica. Or sometimes Circus Baby, I guess, I don't know. But anyway, on to Roxanne. Uh, Roxanne, who wouldn't want to smash Roxanne Wolf? I mean, come on. She pretty much, like I said, is the most famous animatronic when it comes to uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. I mean, sure, Glamrock Chica, she's cute and all that, but nobody can top Roxanne Wolf, okay? So, on behalf of everybody, I'm pretty sure everybody's thinking the same thing. Definite smash and date on Roxanne Wolf. Definite date and smash on Roxanne Wolf. I mean, come on, look at her. Who wouldn't want to date and smash Roxanne? <laughs> Anyway, let's keep her going. And speaking of Glamrock Chica, she's next. We have Glamrock Chica. Okay, um, guys, I'm gonna flat out say this. Um, I would definitely like to date her. I would like to date her, but the only thing that's gonna be a turnoff for me is her appetite for garbage. I mean, come on, guys, think about it. You always find her eating trash and garbage and stuff. I mean, come on, just really, do you really have to eat the garbage? That's disgusting. I mean, and plus, guys, I can't even kiss her because, number one, her breath is going to be smelling like garbage, and two, she's probably going to be covered in garbage. And it's going to make me throw up, ugh. But, I can look past the garbage smell, but I can, but I'm still going to date her. And I guess smash, I guess, I don't know. 
But like I said before, for those of you guys who do think about dating and smashing her, think about the garbage smell. Because I don't think anybody wants their girlfriend or wife smelling like garbage. If you think about it. I mean, it's kind of disgusting and gross. <sighs> anyway, moving on. Okay, next up we have this Happy Frog. Well, this is the glam rock version of Happy Frog, but it's Happy Frog in general. Um, she is really, really nice. She comes from, uh, I forgot which game she's from, but she is really nice. She's really nice and sweet and kind. Um, I forgot which, I forgot which line of animatronics she came from. Uh, she came from one of the Five Nights at Freddy's games, uh, along with, uh, Mr. Hippo, uh, Ned Bear, Orville Elephant, and lots of others. Uh, Pig Patch. Do you guys know what game that is? Let me know in the comments, because I don't know. But anyway, yeah, she is really cute looking and stuff. Um, but I'm going to have to say pass. I'm not really into frogs. I'm not really into frogs. So, sorry, Happy Frog. You are cute looking, but nah, I'm not really into frogs. Okay, moving on. All right, next that we have is Circus Baby. This is a different version of Circus Baby, guys, but it's still Circus Baby. So, yeah, I'm counting it as Circus Baby. But anyway, yeah, Circus Baby. Yeah, I would definitely say smash on Circus Baby. I mean, come on, guys. Who wouldn't want to have a girlfriend like Circus Baby? I mean, think about it. Infinite ice cream, all you want. I mean, think about it. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. That's pretty much everybody's dream. Ice cream. I mean, come on. Who doesn't love a nice, fresh uh, cone of ice cream? Just as long as she doesn't pull a Elizabeth Afton on you. Yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, um, Circus Baby is uh, possessed by the spirit of Elizabeth Afton, otherwise known as uh, William Afton's daughter. So, yeah, Ballora is possessed by his wife and uh, his daughter... And Circus Baby is being possessed by his daughter. Yeah, that's just crazy, I know. Yeah, it's crazy, I know. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, Circus Baby does look really cute. Just as long as she doesn't do that thing like the other uh, fun time characters from Fun Nights at Freddy's Sister Location do. They split their faces. Like, I hope they don't do, like, I hope she doesn't do that. I know she can do that, but I really hope she doesn't do that. It's creepy. Ugh. But I can look past that and say smash. I would definitely smash and date Circus Baby. I mean, she is really cute looking. I mean, come on, look at her. Anyway, moving on. All right, next up we have is Type Zero, otherwise known as uh, Golden Fredina from that, again, from that porn game. Uh... She pretty much is the ghost ver. She's pretty much the gender bent version of Golden Freddy, uh, the ghost version. I mean, if you think about it. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna have to say, uh, I guess date or yeah, I guess I would date because if you think about it, I can't smash a ghost. I can't smash a ghost, so yeah, that's probably gonna be hard. Plus, if you think about, plus look at her eyes, just cold and blank. Just cold and blank and black. I mean, come on. Do you guys think, besides looking at her massive situations, do you guys honestly think you can you actually deal with this? I mean, with her eyes looking at you like that? I mean, come on, can you actually deal with that? Anyway, yeah, I'm still saying date. Moving on. Okay, next up we have is Bonfi. Bonfi, otherwise known as the... Uh, Bonnie again from that porn game. I'm pretty sure we all I'm pretty sure we all get it now. She's from that porn game. But anyway, uh yeah, she's really cute looking. She's nice. She's nice. She's a bit of an airhead a little bit, but she is really cute looking. So yeah, I think I would definitely give her a smash and a date. I mean, look at her. She is really cute looking. And like I said, she's a bit of an airhead. And like I said, she's a gender version of Bonnie. And guys, come on. She's really cute looking. Look at her. Anyway, moving on. All right, next up is Chiku. Oh, shoot. I forgot the uh, thing was there. <laughs> I forgot about that picture. But anyway, it's still a picture of her. Anyway, next up is Chiku. Chiku, guys. It's spelled C-H-I-K-U. Chiku. 
She is the, uh, you know, the bimboed out version of Chica. <laughs> she is really cute looking and adorable. And just like Chica, she loves pizza. I mean, who doesn't love a good pizza every now and then? I mean, come on, think about it. Who does love a good pizza? Anyway, yeah, I think I would definitely like to date Ant Smash. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, think about it. Look at her. She's so adorable and cute. <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on. Okay, next up is Fexa, the gender bet version of Foxy from, again, from that game. Ugh, anyway, yeah, Fexa, I'm definitely going to have to say date and smash. Okay, guys, if I'm going to have to say this, I got to confess something here. She is definitely my number one uh, girl when it comes to that game. She's my number one girl from that game. She's so, t I mean, come on, guys. Who doesn't love a girl who's tough and somewhat beautiful and sweet and kind? I mean, come on. She's like that, and then she's tough because, you know, she's a pirate and everything. And the best part is, sometimes she has her hook hand, sometimes she doesn't. I just hope that sometimes she doesn't because, hey, who can actually stand, you know, smashing somebody with a hook for a hand? Anyway, yeah, I would def yeah, I'm definitely dating and smashing Fexa. Definitely um smashing and dating Fexa. Anyway, moving on. Okay, next up we have is Toy Chica, the second most famous female character in all of the canon Five Nights at Freddy's character of all I mean b before Roxanne came around, Toy Chica was pretty much one of the most famous Five Nights at Freddy's female characters. I mean, come on, who doesn't like Toy Chica? I mean, look at her. She's so thick with that design. I mean, what? I mean, I mean, guys, to be honest, what the heck were the people thinking of when they made Toy Chica? When they when they built Toy Chica, what the heck were they thinking? Like, they pretty much made her more thick, more skinny than the normal Chica. Plus, not only that, they put her in shorts. Very, very appropriate because here's the thing. The normal Chica doesn't wear anything except for that bib. Plus, not to mention, if you think about it, normal Chica, she does kind of look like a dude a little bit. I mean, if you think about it, normal Chica does kind of look like a dude. And But when it comes to toy Chica, you can definitely plainly see that she does look like a girl. So, yeah. Anyway, 100% smash and date on toy Chica. I mean, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Anyway, moving swiftly on. Okay, next up is Glitchy, otherwise known as Glitch Trap, from, again, from that porn game. It, they, they pretty much recolored Bonfi to make her look like the other bunny-themed uh, characters in Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, for example, you can easily tell that's uh, Bonfi, as Bonfi. You can easily tell that's Bonfi. Um, she pretty much is, like, all recolored out to look like Glitch Trap. But, anyway, um, yeah, I would definitely say date and smash, big time. I would definitely date and smash, big time. I mean, look at her, she looks hot. Anyway, moving on. Again, they recolored Bond Feed to make her look like this character. We have here the, uh, we have that version, we have that porn game version of Vanny. Just as long as she's not on a murderous spree, yeah, smash, big time, date as well. Okay, moving on. Okay, just, okay, they recolored Fexa to make her look like Mangle. So this is pretty much the, uh, so this is the, this is pretty much the, uh, Frinny Fezbear's nightclub version of Mangle. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I would definitely smash and date. I mean, they both pretty much kind of look the same in a way, if you think about it. Anyway, yeah, I would definitely date and smash. She looks so cute. She looks so cute and adorable. Uh, the only thing I need to worry about is, um, her situations always being out. I just don't want people looking, because that's just weird. Moving on. Okay, next up is Scrap Baby. Um, guys, to, to be honest, I I put the fixed up version of her because, guys, I really can't stand to see that normal version of her, except with the claw hand and everything. That's just, ugh. I do not like it at all. The claw hand. That, okay. 
But here's the thing, guys. I don't know if she can still activate the claw hand. I don't know. I just don't. I just don't. Honestly, guys, I just don't. Ugh, the claw hands get the claw hand gives me nightmares, guys, when it comes to scrap baby. And the only version of circus baby that I know that wears roller skates. <laughs> Because I know lots of people make, you know, fan art of Circus Baby wearing roller skates and stuff. And if you guys don't know, people actually make uh, pictures of Glam Rock Circus Baby. Um, and she's also wearing roller skates. Same thing with Glam Rock Ballora and lots of other Glam Rocks. Because believe it or not, lots of people really want to see the following characters as Glam Rocks. Circus Baby, Ballora, Foxy. And, of course, Bonnie. I mean, lots of people really want to see them. People really, really want to see them in the glam rock form. I mean, come on. Anyway, back to Scrap Baby. Um, I don't know. It's pretty much a toss-up between pass and date. Because here's the thing. Smashing is definitely going to be hard. Especially if she has that claw hand. Again with the claw hand, I know. But, hey, I can't help it. Anyway, I made up my mind. It's going to be a pass. Sorry, Scrap Baby. Moving on. Okay, next up we have is Spring Bonnie. Next up we have is Spring Bonnie. For those of you guys who don't know, Spring Bonnie, she, or he, in the other universes, they were the very first Bonnie. They were the very first ever Bonnie. <laughs> and believe it or not, and believe it or not, it was actually William Afton who took over, and then his spirit possessed the rundown version of it to form Glitch Trap. It was just horrible and crazy. Biomechanic, biomechanics, it's just horrible and crazy. Anyway, back to this. Um, Spring Bonnie. Yeah, I would definitely date and smash her. Okay, guys, see, look, here's the thing, though. She can be a little bit creepy when it comes to, you know, glitching out like crazy. Like, think about it. She can be a little bit creepy, especially when it comes to, like, glitching out and all that other junk that she does. But I'm going to flat out say this. Yep, I would definitely still smash big time. I would still smash. Yeah, I would definitely still smash and date big time. Moving on. Okay, next up we have is the main girl herself. Uh, sorry, Franny, <laughs> the main character from her porn game. Yes, big time smash. I mean, think about it. She's the main character, the leader of the group. And look at her. She's just so hot and all that other junk. I mean, come on. I mean, look at her. She's a tall drink of water and she is a great singer. She's a great singer, leader of her group, and she's also very, very beautiful. I mean, come on, look at her. Anybody will want to get with this bear. Okay, so yeah, definite, big time, 100% date and smash. So yeah, big time date and smash. Okay, is there anything else? Nope, that's it, guys. So, guys, that's it for this date smasher pass. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. And also, let me know in the comments down below, sorry, below, <laughs> I, I don't know what that was. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these lovely Five Nights at Freddy's characters would you like to date, smash, or pass. And guys, be sure to keep an eye out later on today for another video because I'm going to be talking to DJ and Kat later today. Just... Yeah, I'm going to be talking to them later and telling DJ what I told Cat. Oh, boy. I just hope that he can be understanding. I just hope he's not going to be mad. Anyway, um, and if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that way you guys will update whenever I post. Now, if you guys excuse me, I have to prepare for Flame X Cat Arc Part 2. I have to prepare for it. Anyway, yeah, so this is Flame the Dragon Hog signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers.